All right, so I'm going to share my screen now. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. Uh, let me know, guys, if you can uh, see my screen. Uh, just comment uh, any emoji or anything. Because I can see my screen properly now. So, hindi ko lang alam sa inyo. All right, cool. So, sabi ni Lena, she can see the screen there. Okay. So yes, Kilo, so booty smooth and connection tonight. Yeah, oh, oh, because um, I've heard a lot of issues on the internet in the Philippines, right? Um, you mga reklamo ng ating mga fellow Filipino freelancers <laughs> na medyo may issue yung internet ngayon. So yeah, I'm glad that you made it tonight because I think this um, topic will be really, really beneficial to you. Okay, so yeah, um, let's start. Okay, so I think uh, we can we can start. So I'm gonna set up them properly, and no, para makita ko rin yung ano yung yeah. So let's start in a few. I'll open ko lang yung aking kino. All right. So I'm gonna. All right, cool. Okay, so. Our topic for tonight. So let's start, guys. I know if you think uh, someone needs to see or watch this, just tag them here to so comments. Because, um, uh, but anyways, if you need to they can always watch this on replay. So yeah. So our webinar for tonight. So I made a poll for questions. The on uh, I think I thought chaka yung isa na how to start freelancing as a beginner. Yung uh, maraming votes. Actually, hindi naman nakakalay lahat no. But I think ito yung uunahin ko. Um, kasi ito yung pinaka sa ano sa stock talaga yung mga fellow Filipino freelancers natin so nasa stock talaga tayo dito sa sa skill to offer uh, when in fact guys if I'm being honest hindi siya mahirap okay hindi siya mahirap talaga alright so um, how to choose a profitable skill to offer as a Filipino freelancer so yeah welcome to our live webinar um, this is the first time I'm doing it alone, so uh, bear with me because uh, I'm not sure. So uh, say in, hi in the comments below and share to us what you had for dinner. Uh, I had, um, I think I had nasi goreng. Yeah, I had nasi goreng, so carbs is life. So I had nasi goreng for dinner. So um, let me know uh, what you had. <laughs> say hi in the comments below. And yeah. So the webinar, um, house rules, uh, housekeeping rules, lang guys, is I'm gonna talk, uh, share my screen, and discuss, and then at the end of the webinar, don't time to discuss the mga questions. Yeah, but during the course of the webinar, pa din man talaga kayo ano write down lang mga questions niyo. or just please uh, uh, write down in the comments if may mga suggestions kayo. If I have uh, uh, forgotten something, mga ganon, then I'll do my best to answer them. Sa and no webinar. All right? Ayun. So, yeah, for those na nandito na, ano, hindi ako kilala, pero <laughs> I think most of you uh, medyo kilala na. Just a quick background lang, ano. Um, so, I'm Margaret. So, I'm a digital marketing strategist. So, over eight years na akong digital marketing uh, strategist and I have an executive management experience then. So, of course, it's obviously uh, pinag-uusapan natin dito. Uh, I'm a law school dropout. And... <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I didn't finish law school. Um, umalis ako kagad sa kanya. Because, uh, no, it's not for me. And I, or even law school, during law school, actually, I already started freelancing part-time na siguro between mga uh, 2009 to 2011. Yung nagsimula ako ng law school, parang ganun. So, nagsistart na ako ng freelancing, part-time lang. You know. But, um, so, nagkwit ako ng law school in 2011. Then, I went to Malaysia. Um, kumuha ako ng uh, corporate job doon. Then realized na hindi pa rin yun for me, and then there's something wrong with the contract. So we went to the Philippines. Then in 2012, um, uh, we created the article on design, the agency. So um, in 2020, 
uh, the we created the lab, the creative lab, and the article and design podcast with Candice. And yeah, uh, since last year until now, or until probably until I can, and uh, until you guys want me to, I'm happily teaching f- freelancers and business owners. And it's part of our 1 million mission. So hashtag 1 million mission. So if you know more about the 1 million mission, pumunta lang kayo sa ating cover page or sa about page ng group na to, then you will know any yung 1 million mission. So yeah, so that's just a quick uh, intro about me. <laughs> so uh, on a daily basis, tao din ako. So one of my favorite things ko is I love sunsets and coffee. So, ganun. so let me know guys if you love sunrise or sunset and if you love coffee or tea. All right. So yun. <laughs> So hi, I'm Margaret. So in this webinar, um, you are going to learn uh, first is what is a niche, um, n- the niche plus scale, and plus the two types of approach using uh, your niche and scale. All right. And then next is uh, the dangerous thing other freelancers are teaching you. For those that are enrolled in a uh, super freelancers course, I, mean, I'm, I think my idea is All right. Um, next is four steps in choosing your superpowers or your profitable skill to offer. So guys, uh, if you notice, ang tawag namin dito is superpowers, you know, kasi uh, we are in this community, we call each other as super freelancers. Diba? So um, super freelancers, so ang tawag natin sa ating skills, freelancing skills natin, or consulting skills natin is superpowers. Then tawag natin sa ating ideal clients, or ang client avatars natin are super clients. All right, just to uh, make it clear. So, any four steps in uh, choosing your profitable skill is first the self audit, the, the client inventory, the sweet spot, and the validation. And we're going to discuss also Yung Spy. And Yung Spy. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, um, lagi tung sina sabi sa akin, mabilis ako magsalita. So, if mabilis ako magsalita, just please let me know in the comments. Um, just, uh, ano, um, sibihan nyo lang ako na, ano, Margaret, mabilis kina magsalita. So, ganun. Um, but I will do my best na babagalan ko. Okay? So, yeah. So, first, let's discuss what is a niche. So, most of you, alam na ano yung niche. Okay? But, um, yun nga. But sometimes, we really need to uh, discuss it para we have to understand magkaroon tayo ng foundational, ng basics. Okay? Um, going forward sa skills natin. So, ano ba yung niche na sinasabi? So, niche is a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. Okay? So, simple lang. Uh, parang yung niche, uh, yun yung target market mo. Diba? Uh, so, niche is also focus. And tar- uh, sometimes, I mean, most of the time, yung niche kasi focus siya and the targeted area that you serve or you want to serve. Kumbaga, kung uh, bago ka pa lang. Um, also, it is something na um, similar or familiar to you most of the time na yung pipiliin mong niche, di ba? And some, and most of the time then, or to uh, most of the people that I know, um, yung niche na pinipili nila is that something they're very interested with. Okay? Uh, yung interested sila. Like, I, I know someone, uh, she's very interested sa fitness. So, yun yung niche niya. Di ba? So, and aside from niche, meron tayong tinatawag na sub-niche. Di ba? Parang, if you're a website developer, you call it like, you have a domain, then may subdomain tayo. So, it's a niche, ganun din. So, uh, sub-niche is a small group of individuals removed from the mainstream marketplace. So, yeah. Um, uh, to make it simpler, ganito. Um, why am I talking about niche dito? When in fact, Margaret, uh, what are, why are you talking about niche? And eh, nag-uusap lang naman tayo. Uh, I mean, we're going to discuss the skill, diba? the profitable skill to offer. Um, yes, that's true. But why am I talking about niche tonight? Because your niche mo, cah yung skills mo that you're going to offer is related, de ba? Uh, related siya to each other. Um, sa service mo na you offer, and we have uh, two approaches. Paano natin um, sisimulan or kung hindi man simulan, paano mo reinvent your freelancing services mo? So approach one uh, will be like this. So scenario one. So, uh, meron tayong um, yung skill mo. For example, ikaw to. So, lagyan natin ng pangalan. So, hold on lang guys. Ah. Kasi hindi ko alam kung nababasa ko yung ano nyo. Ayun. Yeah. Alright. Um, hold on lang guys. Ah, kasi 
Nahulog yung ano. Nahulog yung phone. Ayun. Yeah. All right. So, okay, going back. So, so approach one. Um ganito ang gagawin natin. So, yung skill mo is for example, sabi, pangalan na natin siyang si Max. Si Max. So, si Max, ang skill niya is um social media manager or yung skill na gusto niyang mangyari sa kanya. Okay? Uh, social media manager. So, after that, si Max, ang approach niya is using that one skill na meron siya, meron siyang tatlong niches or target market. Okay? So, ano yan? So, social media manager, si Max, that's one skill uh, of focus. Then next, meron siyang three niches. So, our first niche niya is independent construction and building materials na niche then health and fitness niche, and jewelry sellers, or yung e-commerce. Ganun. So that's first approach, guys. Okay, so yan yung isang approach na pwede mong magawa. So pwede kang pumili na, okay, I wanted to learn, I wanted to become a social media manager, then pipili ako ng um, tatlong niche, then dun sa mga niche or market na yun, social media manager lang ako. Okay? Yun lang gagawin mo. Like a very um, specific na skill. Another approach that you can do, which is, this is my approach, actually, uh, yung nag-start ako sa freelancing. Um, approach two, ganito. So, sino yung mga tao dito? Uh, these are your niches or your target markets. Okay. So, ang approach mo is iba-ibang niche or target market. Ay, mali pala. <laughs> Isang, sorry. Ito yung niche or target market mo. So, isa lang siya. For example, he- health and fitness lang. Tapos ang approach mo doon is marami kang skills na ino-offer sa isang target market sa, sa health and fitness. So ano ka? Anong pwede mong gawin sa health and fitness? So isaw, ikaw ay social media manage, ma- manager, copywriting or copywriter, then um, ikaw ay isang email newsletter uh, manager or nag-write ka ng mga email newsletter. Okay? So uh, anong napapansin nyo dito sa approach 2 na to? So, so approach na to, uh, approach to na to is very specific siya. Health and fitness lang. Isang niche lang siya. Pero yung skills na ino-offer niya is marami. But take note dito. Dapat yung skills na ino-offer mo as much as you can, as much as possible, is very related sila sa each other. So ano ang common denominator ng tatlong skills na to? Sa approach to, right? Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Ano yung common denominator ng approach na, uh, ng approach na to? Ang common denominator ng skills nila is writing or articles or caption. Kasi social media, um, kasali na kasi doon yung naglalagay ka ng caption, ng copy. Okay? Doon si mga, ano, um, probably si mga posts, si mga content. Then yung copywriting, of course, it's obviously, uh, it involves writing. Then yung email newsletter management is direct uh, to customer newsletter management. So may writing din doon. Okay? So, ganun. What I suggest, if gusto niyo yung approach na to, you have to develop a skill na medyo related sila. Bakit? Para yung softwares na gagamitin mo is hindi masyadong madami. Okay? So, pwede kang gumamit lang ng isang software na uh, pwede mong magamit nun sa iba't ibang skills na yun. But ang kagandahan lang dito, guys, is nakafocus ka sa isang niche like health and fitness, then uh, marami kang skill. So, hindi na kailangan ng client mag-hire pa ng social media, ng copywriter, or ng email uh, manager. Ganon. So, ito yung approach to. So, yeah, that's why I'm talking about niche ngayon. Diba? Kasi uh, you have two approaches on how to um, um, uh, validate your profitable skill. All right? So, next is, um, yeah. So, let's talk about niche. Ganito na yung niche. So, don't make it complicated. So, niche, for example, is food. Um, Tapos, ano, ano yung nasa food? Mga restaurants, mga niche yan. So, ano yung sub-niches nun? So, sub-niches nun is um, small restaurants or yung mga vegan restaurants. Okay? So, parang ganun lang. And next is, um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's uh, discuss some examples of niche and sub-niche na para mas clear sa inyo. And we're going to have a, a, a really short exercise after this. <laughs> So, for example, yung freelancer is si Lisa. And ang skills niya is she's a uh, product photographer. And yung niche niya is uh, FMCG, yung mga fast-moving consumer goods. And ang sub-niche niya is infant formula. For example, ano ba? Uh, uh, bear, bear brand, di ko alam. Uh, S26. Uh, Pro-meal, mga ganun. So, excuse me. Um, 
Next is si Alex. Si Alex is a copywriter, yung skill niya, or yung gusto niya ma-develop na skill. Then, ang niche niya is fitness coaches. So, ang sub-niche ni Alex is female fitness coaches specializing in Pilates. Ganon. Alright? So, may specific, ano siya, specific niche or target market. Next is si Jenny. So, Jenny is, um, ang skills niya or yung skills na gusto niya i-develop is dun siya admin task and virtual assistant. And ano yung niche niya? Um, small business owners, yung mga gusto niya. Then, ano yung parang sub-niche niya? Yung mga small accounting firms. Alright? So, parang ganun lang. So guys, uh, para mas mabilis yung ano yung pag-develop niyo ng profitable skill niyo, ganito ang gagawin natin. So I have a really, really brief exercise for you that you're going to do now, as in like now. So grab your pen and paper or anything, um, iPad niyo or tablet or laptop niyo. So grab it and do this exercise now in just two minutes. Two minutes lang. Um, it doesn't need, it doesn't have to be like super perfect na, no? Just draft something, okay? So, what you're going to do, naalala niya yung diniscuss natin kanina. Um, diniscuss natin kanina na yung mga niche and sub-niche. So, gagawin niya yun. Okay? Gagawin niya yun now. Ngayon na. <laughs> Hindi bukas. Hindi mamaya. Ngayon na. Uh, isulat niyo. So, gagawin niya siya ngayon. So, what you're going to do is isulat niyo yung name niyo. Isulat niyo ngayon. Your name. The next is uh, add your um, potential or current skills. Uh, potential skills, what I mean is yung gusto mo. Okay? Gusto mo ma-learn. Gusto mo matitunan or you're very interested with that skill. Or current skills mo. Kung ano yung skill mo ngayon. Like for example, for me, I'm a digital marketing strategist end-to-end. So, nung ginagawa ko, gumagawa ko ng mga digital marketing plans. You know, for the clients. So, ilagay nyo. For example, si Alex. Um, si Alex, ang um, potential or current skills niya yung uh, copywriter. The niche you like, to work with. Uh, si Alex, f- gusto niya yung fitness coaches talaga. Malapit sa kanya yung uh, fitness, health and fitness. Next, and, ano yung sub-niche na gusto mo? So, yun nga, sabi natin kanina, si Alex is, um, is specialized siya sa uh, Pilates. Alright. So guys, I'll wait for you. I'm just gonna drink my water. <laughs> um, do this exercise. Draft lang. Gawin nyo. Because it will make sense at the end of this webinar. Okay? Draft lang. It doesn't have to be perfect. Ano yung naisip nyo? Ano yung naisip nyo na um, potential skills nyo or current skills nyo? Yung gusto nyo yung katrabaho? Ano yung mga sub-niche nyo na uh, specialized niches na, mas, na gusto nyo uh, na figure out nyo na parang happy kayo na to work with? Diba? So do it now. So arasan ko kayo. Um, I'll wait for you. I'll just drink my water. <laughs> So, hi, Kela Jen, K. Lance Miguel, K. Blasila Valo, Punzilan, K. Mel, Melissa. Hello, K. Gigiwi, Michelle Arana, VD, L. L. Pita, Salapas, Jules, K. Of course, K. Hilo, K. Elaine, K. Madonna. Yep. So, K. Chris, K. Pakitake Garo. Yep. Hi, guys. <laughs> hi, Jen. So, Jen, and skills more? Uh, yeah, guys. Um, if you want to uh, let me know in the comments, pwede nyo, pwede nyo, please, please, mas maganda. Mas maganda kung isulat nyo sa comments kasi um, tignan natin, uh, tignan natin kung mavalidate natin ngayon. But if you're too shy uh, to write it down, um, it's okay. Just write it on your paper uh, kung saan man kayo ngayon. But it would be nice if you could share it to us para mavalidate natin at the end of this webinar. Ano? Tignan natin. So guys, you have 30 seconds na lang so we can continue with this webinar. So it's just your name, potential or current skills, niche you would like to work, um, sub-niche you like to work with, Marganen. So it doesn't have to be, you know, um, it doesn't have to be, you know, parang um, yun na kagad. What we're going to do in this exercise right now is nag-iisip lang tayo, guys. Okay? Nag-iisip lang tayo. All right. So, may answer na sila. Hi, Mel Nakor. Uh, <laughs> Nagkamali si Mel. Oo. Oo. Uh, yeah, all right. Si Jules. All right. May nilagay na siya. Yeah, I like I like it, Jules. Uh, food. Yeah. Uh-oh. Cafes. That's right. All right, so guys, uh, 10 seconds left. 
So you can write it down in the comments and you need um, it or you can just ha have it on your paper. But I would really, really like it if you let the comments, then uh, I could help you out. Mamaya. Let's see. All right, five, four, three, two, one, stop. <laughs> okay, guys, so stop what you're doing. Uh, the bale, uh, kung hindi kayo to pause, babalikan nyo to mamaya. All right, but yeah, uh, stop what you're doing so we can continue with the webinar. All right, so yeah, my example pa ako kanina. So, yun. so yeah, let's discuss uh, in line with the niches, let's discuss a new yung dangerous thing, dangerous thing other freelancers are teaching you. Okay, so that is to niche down too early. I know, I know, I will get a lot of hit on this one. As in, because um, I know, kahit ang freelancers or mga coaches sinasabi nila, hey, if you wanted to to become a highly paid six figure, seven figure freelancer, kailangan yung mag niche down. Kailangan ganyan, because the market is too saturated. Yes, that's true. That's correct. But the dangerous thing there is if if you're starting, don't niche down too early. Bakit? So let's discuss. So, yes, as I've said, okay lang yun. Uh, that's a valid argument, a valid point talaga yung mag niche down ka too early because that's the end point, end point of everything. Eh. Diba? Ma mag magiging ano, special, specialized ka into something. Right? But yeah, this is correct. If and only if you are already a freelancer. Okay. Nag-start ka na, may, uh, may previous experience ka na, kahit na three clients lang, um, then, nagkaroon ka na ng skills na parang na na-offer mo, alright? Next is, you, ha you have a data to work around or you have an expertise na. For example, you're an accountant, tapos gusto mo na mag-freelancing um, or, or may experience ka sa bookkeeping, di ba? Or you were um, a journalist before, um, nagsusulat ka sa mga magazines or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, and if you are an agency or a large business owner, okay, importante sa hanila yung data. Okay. So, yeah, niche down too early, okay yun. If and only if, ito ka, pasok ka sa tatlo na to. But it can be dangerous, guys, if you are new or starting. Okay? Yung sobrang niche down. Okay? Dangerous siya na advice if you're new or starting. Bakit? Why oh why? Kasi nga, uh, Margaret, di ba nga, mag niche down dapat para pumili ka na? Yes. O nga. Pero itong problema. Sa si mga start, starters kasi, what you need guys is to have a data. Okay? To work around. Ano ba yung mga data na sinasabi ko? Naka-experience ka ng ganitong market. Naka-experience ka ng ganitong skill. Naka-experience ka ng ganitong software. Yung mga ganun. Okay? There's a lot of data that you can consider, you can factor in. Uh, when you specialize it. So, uh, pagbago ka pa lang, ang hirap kasi wala ka talagang data to work around. Tapos, nag-niche down ka kagad, sobrang baba, sobrang specific. Um, alam mo yun, uh, wala ka ng data to work around. Okay? If you guys are uh, um, nag-gumawa kayo ng mga thesis ng college nyo, di ba? Meron tayong uh, tinatawag na data gathering um, na portion doon. So, as much as we can, para ma-validate validate natin sa statistics software as much as we can, mas maganda kung mas maraming data, di ba? So, parang ganito lang din yun eh. Um, and also, you can limit your potential clients because when you are starting, you will start with leveraging your network, okay? That is one of the client acquisition strategy na pwede mong gawin when you're starting, all right? So, pag nag-niche down ka kagad, tapos yung network mo pala is hindi siya nandun sa super specific na niche na pinili mo. So, sasabihin mo sa sarili mo, ay, hindi, ko, hindi kito pwede kunin. Diba? Kahit na may potential na pwede mo siyang kunin. Alright? So, next is, yun nga. Um, ang problema kasi, pag sinasabi, oh, niche down too early ka na. Niche down ka na kagad. Ang problem yan kasi, as freelancers, because we're human beings, ano? So, we're, we keep on obsessing sa idea na you over specific specify natin yung niche at the start. Okay? Um, hindi natin dapat to ginagawa. Uh, you don't have to make things complicated kasi bakit? Yung market mo nga, along sa journey, 
uh, ng freelancing mo, uh, during uh, business mo, is pwede siya kasing mag-change. Pwede siyang um, um, lumipat ng trajectory. Okay, along the way. Tapos ang kagandahan niyan is bakit? Kasi na-find out mo according sa si data na ay ayoko pala gumamit ng software na to. Hindi talaga ako, um, ano, um, this is not what, what I want. This is not what I feel like um, magagawa ako siya for the rest of like a year, or two, three, ganon. Um, so, alam mo yung ganon. Tapos hindi ko pala gusto tong market na to. Mas, mas gusto ko pala sa si fitness. Hindi ko pala gusto ang construction. So, dun mo lang na-find out nung Uh, natutunan mo. So guys, what I suggest is if you're starting, you just have to start with um, at least mga three to five niches muna. Okay? Um, Tapos saka ka na mag-niche down too early. Alright? Kasi you will get stuck if you really don't know yet what to choose. So kailangan mo magkaroon ng counting options then. Alright? So, but know that this will eventually be your goal. Ito talaga pa rin yung magiging end point, ang end goal mo, that you have to niche down, you have a specific niche and market, and you have a specific skill. Either way, how you do it, approach one or approach two. Yun siya diniscuss natin kanina. Alright? So guys, my suggestion is allow yourself to experiment a bit and put your stake on the ground. Kasi bakit? This is your business now. This is your financing. Um, you have the capability to change it kung gusto mo. Alright? So, ayun. Uh, again, why is it dangerous? Kasi nga, yung ideal client avatar is confusing para sa mga nagsisimula na freelancers. Bakit? Ano ba sinasabi nila? Uh, they ask you to come up with a fictional representation of the client, di ba? Na, isipin mo yung kinakain ng client. Isipin mo, nagtitake ba siya ng green smoothie? Isipin mo kung anong sinusuot niya, anong magazines na binibili niya. Ganon. So, sinasabi nilang ganon, di ba? Na ipipicture out mo daw. Yes nga, okay yun uh, pag ano ka na, may data ka na. But this is also helpful guys in large businesses lang. Okay? Because the large businesses or small businesses, they have to purchase a customer behavior data para makita nila. Alright? Like for example, uh, you purchase Google Ads, you purchase uh, Facebook Ads, uh, pinupurchase mo yung behavior data eh. Okay? But if you're a service-based freelancer, this will not work for you and it will be confusing. Okay? Kasi wala ka talaga kasing idea pa. Okay? So, what you should do is, we will discuss later. <laughs> Alright? So, ayun. So, choosing your superpowers and profitable skill. Ah, no. So, we have four steps in choosing your superpowers or your profitable skill to offer. Bakit natin sinasabi na profitable skill? Um, kasi bakit? Um, profitable. Ano ba yung word? Operative word on profitable. Kailangan yung skill na i-offer mo is magkakapera ka. ba? Diba? Kasi ano ba yung why mo uh, in getting into freelancing or getting into starting your business? Yung why mo is to earn money from the, uh, something that you love to do. ba? Diba? Um, para hindi ka na matied up sa something that you really don't want to do but you have to do it kasi kailangan mo ng, uh, ng financial ano, um, reasons for that. ba? Diba? So, yeah, important then that when you choose your superpowers, guys, or your skill, you have to make sure that it's profitable then. Okay? Because, sabi ko nga, hindi lahat ng gusto natin gawin, mapagkakitaan um, natin. So, yeah, we have four steps, which are um, the self-audit, the client inventory, the sweet, sweet spot, and the validation. So, how are we going to do it? Simple lang. Um, tulad na sinasabi ko kanina, ito yung problema ng freelancers kasi pinapahirapan natin yung buhay natin. Okay? So, um, sino ba dito? Um, comment down below kung uh, first time yung nanood or um, sino ba dito yung, ano, yung uh, nasa stock ka sa skill na yung offer mo? Na hindi mo alam ano yung skill na yung offer mo talaga. Alright? Uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, ano yung issue mo then uh, we will try to discuss this, discuss that at the end of this webinar. So, saan ka na sa stock? Bakit, anong, anong nagiging obstacle? Bakit hindi ka makapag-isip ng skill na you offer mo? Uh, let me know in the comments. Alright. So, as I've said, we have four steps. The self-audit, client inventory, sweet spot, and the validation. So, let's discuss the self-audit. So, paano to? Yung self-audit kasi ang pinaka-importante dito first is bago ka mag-offer ng skill is 
i-check mo muna sa self mo. May self-evaluation ka, kumbaga. Diba? Pero ganito lang, simple lang ang gagawin mo. Hindi na natin pahihirapan. So, there are two things that you can do. So, kumuha kayo ng paper, um, ilagay nyo to, or you have an Excel sheet, ilagay nyo tong what you do and tangible results. Okay. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? What you do is everything about you. Okay, this is about you. Ito yung ikaw, yung freelancer or a business owner. Yung tangible results is ito yung optimized for the clients. Para sa clients. Bakit ko sinasabing tangible? Kasi yung results na ibibigay mo, um, pinaka-importante doon is meron kaagad, uh, meron kaagad nakikita yung client na benefit doon sa results. Okay? Kasi bakit? Uh, yun, yung, yun yung makakapag uh, bigay sa'yo ng repeat clients eh. Kumbaga, or repeat orders. So, it has to be tangible results. Ano ba yung mga tangible results? Nakita niya na may conversion may conversion kaagad sa e-commerce niya. Uh, kunwari, nag-run ka ng ads. Ano ba yung nakita niya kaagad? Nagpagawa siya sa iyo ng design. Nakita niya kaagad na ginawa mo yung branding identity niya. Yung mga ganun. So, yun. Yeah, it has to have a tangible result. So, let's do a simple self-audit. Paano? So, first is... Yung first part is yung with experience. Ito, pinakamadali na to sa mga may experience, yung self-audit. Tapos ang ginagawa nyo lang ngayon is uh, nire-reinvent nyo yung self nyo, no? So, if you have an experience, ganyan yung gagawin mo. Um, write your prior experience or knowledge. Or yung degree mo. Or yung tinapos mo. Okay, isulat mo. Ano ba yung mga prior experiences mo? For example, um, nakapag-attend ka pala ng, ano, ng workshop before na about ano uh, photography ganon ano ba ba mga prior experience mo um nakapag volunteer ka sa isang digital agency before um na gumawa ka gumamit ka ng ano ng graphic design software just nagdesign ka ng mga flyers nila ba ba yung mga simpleng ganon na experience mo or eto pinaka importante if you have a corporate job before Uh, like, for example, in my case, I do have a client service management job before. So, ginamit ko siya dun sa isa kong uh, freelancing before uh, na ako yung nag-hire and nag-fire ng mga tao. ba? Diba? So, um, yun. Um, ano pa ba? For example, if you're an accountant, ba? Diba? It's a prior, it's it's a really good experience na pwede mong pagkakitaan. Um, ano pa ba? If you're a, uh, a data analyst before, kung yung mga previous job mo, Actually, napaka-importante niya. Makakapigay talaga siya um, ng idea, ano yung service na i-offer mo. Alright? Or your knowledge or degree. For example, uh, you're a graduate of um, creative writing or you're a literature graduate. So, naisip mo na, okay, writing. Meron akong ganito. So, stick with that. Okay? Stick with what you know. Diba? Um, kasi, uh, yun yung pinakamadali mong ano eh, matutunan. Yun yung pinakamadali mong madedevelop. Stick with what you know or you have a prior experience or what is your current skill at the moment. So, for example, writing. Sabihin natin na uh, nakapag-graduate uh, ka ng creative writing. So, anong pwede mong results na mabigay sa client? Um, you can actually do long-form writing kasi mas, ano ka dun, mas comfortable ka dun. Or, Uh, gusto mo yung magsulat ng mga consistent blog posts sa website. Okay? So, tangible result yan based sa experience mo. Okay? That's one step, uh, first step sa self-audit. So, pa- paano kung wala kang experience pa? Alright? So, kung wala kang experience. So, ganito ang gagawin natin. Kung wala kang experience, ang gagawin mo is uh, write all the things or skills that you love doing or yung gusto mong pag-aralan. Alright? So, kanwari, ano ka? Um, ano ba yung naging prior experience mo? Hindi mo siya gusto sa freelancing or ayaw mo siyang gawin na sa freelancing. Or, um, may gusto ka lang matutunan. Gusto mo maging video editor. So, gusto mo matutunan yon, ba? Diba? Or lahat ng things na gusto mong gawin. For example, photography. ba? Diba? Or, for example, gusto, mahili ka gumamit ng Excel. Mahili ka gumamit ng mga formulas. Ganon. Uh, for example, in my case, ako, ang skills na gusto ko, uh, na nag enjoy ako is yung nag-generate ng data and nagbabasa ng analytics. Sobrang gustong gusto ko pag nakakita ko ng graphs or ng analytics kung, okay, ano ba yung customer behavior? 
ng uh, ng website na to, ng product na to. Um, so saan ba yung source niya? Saan ba yung, ano, saan ba siya galing? Um, ano ba yung medium? Yung mga ganun-ganun. So, like in my case, mahilig ako sa ganun. So, ikaw guys, kayo pala, uh, pumili kayo ng, uh, isulat nyo yung lahat ng things or skills na gusto nyo. Okay? Gusto nyo gawin or you love learning. Kasi, for example, in my case, gusto ko mag, uh, magbasa ng mga analytics. So, ang pwede kong tangible results sa mga clients is something like this. I can be a data analyst providing growth hacking strategies for the clients based off the data gathered. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Growth hacker ka. So, nabasa ko yung data. Okay, um, client, dito galing yung mga uh, website visitors mo. So, anong gagawin natin? So, pag... Pum- eto so since marami kang um, website visitors dito siguro ang gagawin mo maglalagay ka ng pag may sabi natin free ebooks mga ganun so yun so it's a tangible result di ba na pwede mong ano i-offer sa client so yun guys um mag-isip lang kayo mag-isip kayo ng skills or things na you love doing or you love learning okay kasi makakatulong yan sa iyo sa self auditing niyo next is okay write all your hobbies Yung sinabi ko kanina, yung taking pictures using your camera or your phone or um, hindi kayo mag-summarize uh, ng mga libro. Alam mo yung mga ganun? So, all the hobbies na meron ka. Music, mahili ka mag-play ng music. Uh, nag- tra- nag- 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 sinusubukan mo mag-compose ng mga beats. Okay? Um, using uh, kung ano-ano mga music uh, production software. Yung mga ganun. So, all of the hobbies na meron ka, isulat mo rin. So, at least 10 isulat mo, meron kang data na 10. Okay? So, for example, ikaw ay, gusto mo, mahilig ka kumuha ng mga uh, pictures using the camera. Ayan. So, ano pwede mong gawin? Um, you can become a wedding photographer or an editor who has a fast turnaround time. Okay? So, um, nag-post ka ng service mo na uh, wedding photographer ka and pwede ka din mag-e-edit ng mga uh, na-produce ng mga photography, then ang, ad- ang fair advantage mo doon is fast and turnaround mo. Kasi mabilis ka lang talaga magtrabaho, di ba? Or meron kang system na develop na bakit mabilis ka magtrabaho. Okay? So, tangible results. So, ano pa ba? Um, kung wala talaga, <laughs> uh, pwede mong pigain yung ganito eh. Like for me, um, may personal experience ako. So, for example, personal experience uh, such as, in my case, um, I've been betrayed in business many times, so I've de- developed a skill that I can see or feel or smell BS na sa mga tao. So parang na-betray ka na eh, nasaktan ka na, so pabalik-balik na yung experience na yun. So this time around, ma-feel mo na, um, na nakadevelop ka na ng you know, emotional feeling or um, nakadevelop ka na yung system, kumbaga, na nakikita mo na ah, this, is, this person is BSing me. Alam mo yung ganun. So, paano mo yun siya um, i-convert into a tangible result? Okay? Personal experience yun eh. So, in, in that case, ganito. Pwede mo siyang gawin isang vetting process of filtering or hiring people. Diba? So, ano yung magiging tangible results niya sa client? So, sasabihin mo sa client, client, uh, you can actually add me as a recruitment um, ano mo, um, department mo. Um, ako yung tutulungan kita mag-hire uh, and fire, mag-filter ng mga freelancers na kailangan mo. And you will be protected kasi marunong ako uh, na mag-hire ng excellent freelancers because uh, sa experience ko. Okay? And it was a personal experience. Hindi siya, hindi siya necessarily work. Diba? So all those things, guys, all of those self-audit, everything about you, isulat mo siya. Okay? makakatulong siya sa uh, self-auditing mo as a person. Alright. So, um, you can write it down later or bibigyan ko kayo ng copy ng uh, slides ko para may copy kayo nito. Okay? Para pwede nyo siya maging homework after. So, um, prior experience and kung walang experience, pumunta tayo dito sa mga skills natin or yung mga gusto natin gawin and yung mga hobbies natin and of course, personal experience natin. So guys, can you share to me ano yung personal experience nyo na feeling nyo pwede mo siyang magamit sa, ano, sa trabaho? Pwede mo siyang magamit sa service mo? Or um, ano ba yung mga parang experience na accidental 
uh, na na-develop mo na parang um, pwede mo pala siyang pagkakitaan. Uh, if meron kayong ganun, uh, let me know. Or if you have uh, same experience sa sample na to, um, let me know how you go. All right. So that is self-audit. The next is, of course, the second step is client inventory. Client inventory is, um, ito, uh, we have two approaches here. You may mga prior experience na and you wala pang experience. All right. So dito muna tayo sa may prior experience kasi ito yung pinakamadali, di ba? So prior experience is, ang gagawin natin is data gathering. So paano yun? So first is, get all the data that you have from your previous clients. Okay? What was the most beneficial for the clients? Okay? So, pukunin mo yung mga dati mong natrabaho, tapos isusulat mo doon, um, ano ba yung service mo or skill mo na beneficial talaga sa kanya? Sa clients na yun. Na pinaka masaya siya or pinaka lagi niyang, ano, lagi niyang nire-request or binibili sa'yo. Okay? Number two is, check what skills and services they need that you did not possess before. Okay. So, ito din. So, if you check mo, ano yung mga skills and services na kailangan ng clients, kailangan niya before na, wala, na hindi ka marunong. Okay? Na hindi ka marunong. Isulat mo yun. Okay? Then, third is, what skill you are so good at that clients are willing to pay for? Okay? Para siyang related sa number one eh. Okay? So, ano yung parang feeling mo na yung skill mo talaga na willing talaga yung client na bayaran ka anytime. No-brainer. Babayaran ka talaga. For example, like sa akin, ang isa kong ino-offer is yung mga small business owners mostly, lalo na yung mga independent, ano, yung nagsisimula sila, hindi sila marunong gumawa ng digital marketing plan nila eh. Diba? Hindi nila alam. Kung baga yung digital marketing plan kasi parang yun yung business plan mo sa online. Okay? So, mo, more often than not, hindi sila marunong nun. Okay? So ako, marunong ako gumawa nun. So yun yung service na ino-offer ko sa kanila. So that is one thing uh, that I am, I think I'm good at that the clients are willing to pay. Diba? Uh, why do I believe that I'm good at it? Kasi bakit? I myself is also a business owner. Okay? May mga business din akong um, um, sin- um, na-create kaya marunong ako gumawa na ganun. And uh, of course, I-, I studied, I invested in myself for that one. Kaya I think that I'm good at it and then that is something na willing yung client na ano, babayaran ako which is because uh, yun yung ginagawa ko, di ba? So, number four is of all those data you've gathered, you identify all the common themes you like with that client and make it your ideal client na. Okay? Ano yan? Ulitin ko. So, lahat ng data na nag-gather mo sa apat na to ay sa tatlo na to Magsulat ka na, ano yung pinaka gusto mo? Yung mga common themes doon sa clients na yun and sa mga trabaho na yun. Isulat mo siya kung may common theme doon. Tapos, kung mayroon specific client doon na parang gustong gusto mo talaga katrabaho, isulat mo yun. Kasi baka yung client na yun, for example, nasa health and fitness, tapos gustong gustong mo talaga yun. Tapos gustong gusto gusto mo yung video editing. Diba? So, isulat mo yun. All the things that you can gather. Alright. Um, I'm gonna drink my coffee muna, no? Mm. Okay, si Kilo stock daw siya. All right. <laughs> yes, Kilo. Yeah, uh-oh. Um we'll try to ano, uh, discuss that um na may Kilo na. So guys, let's continue. No experience. Paano kung Margaret, wala, wala talaga experience, nagsisimula pa lang talaga ako. Okay, ganito ang gagawin natin. So so no experience ang gagawin mo is idea churning. Ano ibig sabihin noon? Churn, di ba? Idea. Mag-isip ka. Mag-isip. Mag-research ka. Mag-isip ka. Okay? Um, Mag-ano ka? Uh, mag-decide ka muna first sa niche or target market. Kahit hindi pa siya final, finally, uh, finalized na decision. Mag-decide ka lang. For example, health and fitness. Ganon. Nag-decide ka lang. Tapos, um, parang yun ang gusto mo. Parang yun ang gusto mong katrabaho. Or for example, kay Jules, gusto niya kanina mga restaurants, mga cafes. Ganon. So, cafes. Let's say cafe. Um, mag- uh, you do your research, search for the problems, mga problema, mga needs, and yung language na ginagamit nung, mga, nung target market mo na yun. Okay? So, how do you search it? Well, gamitin mo yung Google, gamitin mo yung any search engine available, gamitin mo yung forums. Okay? Kasi sa forums, marami doon ano eh, mga questions. Or, uh, if you're hanging out sa Quora, gamitin mo yung Quora. Ang daming questions doon. Okay? So, 
Uh, paano mo siya gagawin, Jewel? For example, cafe, uh, business owner's cafe. Um, type ka ng something na forum around sa mga small business owners, then cafe. For example, yun nga, pumunta ka sa, sa Cora. Hanapin mo, um, for example, you have to think of a question about possible question na meron yung mga cafe or small business owners na yun. You know, tapos type mo siya. Tapos magkakaroon ka ng ano, idea kung ano yung magiging results nun. So, ang hahanapin mo na, uh, just do your research, hanapin mo yung mga problema nila, isusulat mo yun. Next, ano yung need nila? So, yung problema pala nila, uh, na-find out mo, wala silang time to create yung social media presence nila. Di ba? Or wala silang time to even create their website. Mga ganun. And most importantly, guys, you have to um, be very, very ano, keen on knowing the language that they use. Ano bang ibig ko sabihin? For example, yung fitness and, and cafes. So, for example, sa fitness tayo, fitness coaches yung gusto mong market. Dapat alam mo yung mga language na ginagamit nila. Um, hindi ka kasi pwedeng gumamit, gumamit ng language na uh, for business jargons dun sa mga clients mo sa fitness. Kasi hindi nila maiintindihan yun. Okay? So, you have to also know the language they use. Para, ang gagawin mo yan, pag uh, nag-present ka na ng service mo next time, is gagamitin mo din yung mga exact same words na ginagamit nila. Okay? Bakit? Para makapag-resonate sila sa'yo. Para they will have a feeling na, oh my God, alam ni, uh, alam ni John, alam ni Jules yung problema ko. Alright? So guys, if you have no experience, idea training, do your research, use your Google or your forums, search for the problems, needs, and language in target market mo, and write it all down in a sheet. Okay? So uh, you can, as much as you can, at least 10 uh, problems, 10 needs, then 10 languages. Isulat mo siya. So that's client inventory. Bakit? Mamaya kasi, um, very important yung mga data na ginanar, gather natin. Kasi ganito, ang gagawin natin guys, kaya uh, napapansin nyo sa first, ang ginawa natin is the uh, self-audit, the next is the client inventory. Kasi ang pinaka-goal natin dyan guys is the sweet spot. Okay? Ano yung sweet spot? Ito lang. Ano mo yung pinaka-magandang feeling sa um, trabaho or sa freelancing? Alam mo yung pinaka-maganda is ginagawa mo yung something that you really love to do and that the clients are willing to pay for. Yun yung profitable skill mo. Okay? Like, in my case, guys, um, when I started freelancing, I never looked back. Okay? When I started doing online businesses, I never looked back. Okay? Kasi bakit? Nakita ko na yung sweet spot ko eh. Nakita ko na yung something that I really, really love to do and then the clients are willing to pay for. Alright? And yun, sa gitna, the blue one is your profitable skill to offer. Kasi bakit? If you only focus on one circle dito, guys, you only focus lang sa skill that you really love to do, tapos kinakalimutan mo yung clients na willing sila bayaran yun, hindi ka magiging sustainable. Okay? Um, siguro a year lang, wala ka ng kliyente, wala ka ng pera sa freelancing, babalik ka na sa corpo or babalik ka na sa ibang ventures mo. Okay? And kung focus ka lang din sa clients are willing to pay for, pera lang talaga yung habol mo, Bahala na nung gagawin mo, mababurn out ka in no time. Okay? So kaya, sa freelancers or sa service-based um, businesses, napaka-importante yung sweet spot. You have to find that sweet spot, which is your profitable skill to offer. Kaya, importante yung two prior tests, which is the self-audit and the, the client inventory. Okay? For example, dito, sa so aking diagram. Any yung skills that you really love to do or develop? For example, writing. Okay? Then, ano yung clients are willing to pay for? Clients are willing to pay for ad copywriting. Kung nakikita nyo ngayon sa Facebook, ang daming, daming ads, di ba? Uh, na lumalabas. Tapos, yung tawag doon sa mga um, stories na, sinus- na binabasa nyo regarding that ads or products is ad copy. Di ba? So, that one is an in-demand thing right now. So, guys, if you have the flair for writing, pwede nyo itong gawing uh, profitable skill to offer. Okay? So, and, in sweet spot mo is if you like writing and you can just develop it into becoming an ad copywriter, then you have a profitable skill to offer which is ad copywriting. Okay? Make sense? So, guys, 
ganito ang gagawin nyo sa profitable skill to offer nyo. Make this diagram. Um, I don't know what, it, what this is called. Venn diagram. Yeah, this is Venn diagram. So gumawa kayo nito or however you want it. Uh, pwede box box kung gusto nyo. So gumawa kayo ng ganito. Okay? Ganito yung dapat na goal nyo sa profitable skill to offer nyo. It's, it should be a win-win situation for you and the clients. But take note that the clients are willing to pay for. Okay? My demand. And ikaw din, love mo yung gagawin mo. All right? So that's your sweet spot. All right? So next, guys, ito, pinaka-importante. And lagi kong sinasabi dito sa grupo natin, you have to test and never guess. All right? Test ka talaga. Kaya sabi ko nga, um, mag gagawa ka ng research mo. Okay? Gagawa ka ng research talaga. Um, you have to spend time. So you're one day, you spend time ta kung, kung bago ka pala ng freelancer, you have to dig deep talaga. Um, mag-spend time ka pa talaga. Okay? Or ang gagawin mo is um, probably um, you can start with whatever you research tapos susubukan mo siya if you're comfortable doing it. Okay? So test and never guess, guys. Kaya ako nga sinabi kanina na, you know what? Yung ideal client avatar exercises na i-imaginin mo ano yung uh, magazine na binili ng client mo, it doesn't work na. Kasi bakit? Hindi ka naman i-hire ng client mo dahil sa bumili siya ng magazine. Okay? Na, na sinasabi mo. Okay? Hindi. I-hire ka niya kasi kailangan niya yung service mo. And he's willing to pay for it. Okay? So guys, test and never guess. Kaya napaka-importante yung mag-spend time tayo sa research. Okay? Uh, ikaw talaga dapat mag-research noon, hindi ako para sa iyo, hindi yung kapatid mo, hindi yung girlfriend mo, hindi yung asawa mo. You do the research, spend time on it. And bakit when when you're starting, you have to avoid reinventing the wheel. Okay? Bakit ka pa mag-reinvent sa wheel dito sa freelancing na meron naman tayong nakikita ng profitable skill na nagwo-work. The only thing right now, the difference is you have to make it better. Or you have to make a better proposition sa sarili mo as a freelancer. Okay? So test and never guess. There should be a demand. Otherwise, you are wasting your precious, precious time. Alright guys? So I hope I made it clear bakit napaka-importante yung mga... Margaret, masyado namang technical and napaka data analytics naman yung approach mo. Yes! Kasi bakit? Uh, you have to avoid that you're wasting time. You have to... um. Um, validate na meron talagang kakapuntahan yung gagawin mo. Okay? So, I suggest when you're starting in freelancing or when you wanted to start from scratch as a freelancer, uh, you have to avoid reinventing the wheel. Titingnan mo muna yung data. Okay? You have to check the data. Okay, this one is working. So, how can I make it better? All right? So, last step so choosing your profitable skill is the validation. All right? So, guys, if wala kayong budget, bumili ng mga apps um, na yung makakapag-check ng mga, ano, mga, mga, mga problema ng mga clients or makakapag-check um, ano, ano yung mga nangyayari sa loob ng isang website or sa si mga target clients mo, this one is free. Social listening. Ano yung social listening? Um... Nagsuspend naman tayo, siguro lahat dito, nandito kayo sa, sa webinar, nagsuspend tayo ng time sa ano, di ba? Nagsuspend tayo ng time sa Facebook, alright? Nagsuspend tayo ng time sa Twitter or Instagram, mga ganon. So, social listening is, parang in a layman's term lang, nagchichismis ka, nagsusresearch ka, kumbaga, sa ano mga nangyayari sa palibot mo, okay? So, social listening is, if wala kang budget to pay for the apps, you do the social listening. To validate. So go to freelance marketplaces. Uh, what are those? Uh, Fiverr, um, LinkedIn, Facebook groups, Upwork. Ano ba ba mga freelance marketplaces? Mga free up, mga ganon. Uh, TopTal, yung mga ganon. Um, Freelancer.com, online jobs, PH. So there's a lot of freelance marketplaces and all. So go to those things, I mean to those places, and then check if your sweet spot is available. For example, kanina, yung sample ko is ad copywriting, ad copywriter. So, pumunta ka sa Fiverr, search mo yung ad copywriter. Ganun. Then, ano yung mga results na lumabas doon? Okay? Kung ikaw ay 2D game designer, pumunta ka sa LinkedIn or Facebook groups, mag-search ka. Um, 
freelance 2D game designer or hiring 2D game uh, designer, looking for uh, quotes and quote uh, 2D game uh, designer. So, magkakaroon ka ng results eh. Tapos nun, makikita mo doon ano yung mga kailangan nila. Okay? Or i-validate mo, uy, oo nga, may demand nga pala talaga sa ad copywriter. Which, which is my demand talaga, guys. So, if I were you, <laughs> um, you have to uh, develop that skill. Um, so, nakita mo. Tapos, may demand din sa uh, social media. Social media management. Sobrang daming demand. Di ba? So, you have, in your way, you have validated your sweet spot. Okay? So, titignan mo. Siguro at least 10 to 20, 30 na, okay, okay, may mga hiring pala talaga dito. So, it's validated yung gusto kong gawin. Something that I love to do and something that clients are willing to pay for. All right? Social listening. So do your research. So next is ito, how to validate it. Iisipin mo sa sarili mo, for example, may, may experience ka na, uh, or isipin mo sa sarili mo, um, and we have types ng people na lumalapit sa'yo for advice. Ano yung sabihin? For example, sa akin, my friends, uh, my friends are, I'm sorry, I ra- <laughs> typo. My friends are asking me a lot of website uh, stuff and how to start a business. Okay? So, tinatanong ako lagi ng mga kaibigan ko about dyan. So, ano yung naisip ko? Hmm, potential client. Potential client, small business owners sila. Okay? Kasi gusto nila magsimula ng business. And paano gumawa ng website. So, hmm, ano yung ano ko? Sweet spot ko dun. Um, pwede kong i-develop paano gumawa ng website or kumurunong na ako. Or pwede kong i-develop na, hmm, bibigyan ko sila ng digital marketing plan. Diba? Kasi small business owner sila and nagtatanong sila how to start a business. So, tuturoan ko sila. Maglalagay ako ng offer paano sila mag-start ng business. Diba? Gagawa ako ng kumbaga starter kit. Alright? So, this is also a thing uh, for you to validate. Uh, yung mga simpleng ano lang. Simpleng mga tiyatanong sa'yo lagi. Ano yung tiyatanong sa'yo lagi? Um, pwede mong i-validate doon. Alright? So, next guys is ito. If you have a budget, um, you create a minimum viable service or MVS. If you don't know what is a minimum viable service, um, you can check out our unit section. Din discuss namin don thorough ano yung MVS. But to give you a context to it, a minimum viable service is just a sample um, of your, uh, a very simple sample of your service or product. Okay? Yung pinaka simple or pinaka simula. Kabaga. It's about, it's like your beta product. Okay? And you can pre-launch it. Kung may budget ka. What you can do is using paid ads. Okay? Pumunta ka sa Google, magawa ka, gumawa ka ng ad uh, for, for a month, i-run mo siya. Then pre-launch it. Sasabihin mo na um, um, blah, 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 how to start a business uh, starter kit or ha- I will teach you how to become a ganito, ganyan. Um, or uh, I'm I'm offering a website uh, website development for uh, cafes or small business owners uh, and turnaround time is only 10 days. So, ilagay mo yun, gumawa ka ng fire or brochure or graphics na ganun. Tapos, i-run mo siya sa ads and sign up uh, for the offer. It's only, sabi natin, $100 if you sign up now. Ganun. So, titignan mo, mag-pre-launch ka. So, kung may nag-sign up doon, then that's also a validation na kailangan talaga yung service mo. Okay? It's a validation na, oh my God, yung sweet spot ko, kailangan pala talaga. Diba? So next is, eto, kung wala kang budget, you create a brochure or a flyer or anything, or kahit simple graphics lang, guys. Um, pumunta ka sa Canva or um, whatever, uh, Adobe, what you want. I-post mo siya sa social accounts mo. Make sure na may friends ka dun, eh. <laughs> so i-post mo sa social accounts mo or i-post mo sa groups na saan ka member uh, and distribute it. Okay? or sa mga group chats na member ka, i-distribute mo. Then titingnan mo kung may may feedback. Or pwedeng hindi ka bumente. Eh. Ang gagawin mo, hey, I'm planning to do this service. What do you think? Ganun. Are you guys willing to pay for this? How much are you willing to pay for this? Or ganun. So, um, that's a really, really good way to validate if yung sweet spot na pinili mo kanina is, uh, no, my demand. That it, it is profitable. Okay? So, um, always remember the spy. Okay. Um, ano yung spy? Kasi there are only three things, only three things lang talaga na nagmamatter sa freelancing mo or even sa business business mo in general. 
there are only three things lang talaga. Ano yun? Super client mo, which is yung ideal client mo. Yung pain or problem na sinosolve mo. Okay? Or yung sweet spot mo. And yung solution mo. Okay? Yung skill mo. Kumbaga. So, an example na. For example, female fitness coaches. Ang um, pain na sinosolve niya is social media presence. Walang social media presence or wala nang time yung female fitness coaches na gumawa ng social media presence niya. So wala na siyang time to create ng mga posts, tapos ipopost niya sa Facebook niya. Wala na siyang time to create ng mga um, sound bites or videos na ipopost niya sa Instagram niya. Wala siyang time to do that. So ano yung solution mo as a freelancer? Gustong gusto mo yung social media. It's really close to your heart. <laughs> diba? So, social media management, yung solution mo. So, sa lahat ng nag-enroll sa Super Financers course, uh, familiar na sila sa SPY. Diba? So, guys, remember this SPY. Ito lang yung three things, top three things na nagmamatter. Okay? Yung super clients mo, yung pain na sinasolve mo, how, how high is that pain, how painful is that, and yung solution mo. Alright? Ano yung solution mo? Ano yung skill mo? Yung profitable skill to offer mo. Yung sweet spot. Alright? So to put it all together, kaya ako kayo pinagawa kanina ng two minutes na ano, two minutes na exercise, and niche exercise mo. Because we're going to, oops, sorry. Because um, we're going to um, put it all together. Um, ang gagawin natin is, after nitong webinar na to, yung lahat ng nilista nyo is, go back to the niche exercise that they ask you to do. Or if hindi nyo nagawa, guys, gawin nyo. Okay? Sobrang draft lang talaga. Gawin nyo. The next is follow the four steps na sinabi ko. The, uh, the self-audit, the client inventory, the sweet spot, and the validation. Okay? So follow the four steps until you have validated your clients and your offer. Okay? So go back to your niche. Di ba? Kaya, kaya pina, pinagawa kayo, kayo ng sobrang bilis kasi nga Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated talaga, guys. Yung finding your offer, your skill, it doesn't have to be complicated. So, wag mo siyang patagalan. Bumalik ka dun sa ginawa mo kanina, i-validate mo siya using the four steps. Okay? Tapos titignan mo kung, okay, boom. Diba? <laughs> As I've said, boom. Validated na. You now have your profitable skill to offer. It doesn't have to be final. Okay? Start with it. And don't worry if it's not what you like at first. Or feeling mo nag-change ka ng heart. Ka. Don't worry. Just repeat. Just repeat the uh, no exercise again. At yung kagandahan sa pagiging freelancer or sa pagiging business owner is may freedom tayo to actually make mistakes. May freedom tayo to uh, re- uh, repeat. Okay? And try again. Yeah. You can always try again. So guys, um, that's it. To be all together, gawin niyo yung steps na yon, gawin niyo yung exercise na yon, and then gumawa ka ng profitable skill to offer mo. And start with it. And pag nagkamali ka and hindi ka masaya doon, subukan mo lang ali. Alright? So, yeah. I would just like to um, um, say my gratitude. <laughs> This is a gratitude board lang. Ano? I would just like to say um, a shout out to, hindi ko na nalagay yung pangalan niya, but I received this um, message a while ago recently. Um, sabi niya, Hi, Miss Margaret. Uh, since I started watching webinar through okay, Miss Milner, hi Milner, if you're here, um, I have been constantly following you. You inspire me, especially the part when you said that your laptop is never an issue to start your financing career, in which that has been my excuse since. You inspire me. Thank you. So guys, um, I really, really appreciate you mga message na ganito kasi bahat. Because of people like you, because of you guys here, I am doing what I do now. Okay? Because this is my mission. This is my one million mission. So, thank you sa mga message na fin-forward nyo sa akin. Um, hindi lang ito yung na-receive ko. Marami na ako na-receive. And guys, if you just wanted to um, shout out to me or uh, just message me about anything, may question ko, you can freely message me sa Facebook ko, um, sa email ko, if you want, or dito sa, ano, even dito sa page natin. Right? So, uh, this is just a gratitude board. I just like to thank the people na nag-message sa akin kasi, or nag-thank you lang sa mga pinagagawa namin because you guys are, you know, you guys are the reason uh, why we're doing what we're doing now. So, this is just uh, for me to say thank you sa lahat ng, uh, ng mga nakaka-appreciate ng ginagawa namin. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's a uh, quick ano, <laughs> advertisement lang because na, na ano ko, na na-touch ako, okay? <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much. Ayan. 
So that's it. If you like what you learned today, guys, uh, we are diving deep into researching our superpowers and our super clients to adding super freelancers course. Uh, we have developed this technique called dip test in which you can learn the course. Uh, I mean, in which you can learn in the course. Okay, yung deep test is a really um, um, thorough siya na test na ginagawa natin para maka-find out tayo uh, ng super clients natin and superpowers natin or yung niche natin. So if you wanted to invest in yourself, guys, um, and if you wanted to become a super financer in 21 days, uh, you can still enroll sa super financer's course. It's still available sa group lang na to. Okay? And sa list natin, hindi pa siya out in public. So it's still available uh, at its price, anniversary price na 3,500. So you can use the coupon code New Year 2021 to get 400 pesos off. So pumunta lang kayo sa articledesigncourses.com, Super Freelancers Course. So I'm going to put the link here below, mamaya. So we had um, a rebranding sa ating course. So to those na nakapag-enroll na sa Super Freelancers Course, in the next few days, uh, mapabali- magkakaroon ng change log, mapabalitan yung iba doon and madadagdagan. Uh, and you will all get that for free. So I, I advise guys, uh, lahat ng gusto mag-enroll pa, mag-enroll na kayo ngayon so that you will get the version 2, the 2021 release ng ating Super Freelancers course. So, uh, I will send the link below if you wanted to enroll. Kasi available pa lang siya dito sa group and sa list and tataas na impression niya soon pag na-open na natin sa public. So, if I were you, grab mo na ngayon and this is just a one-time and lifetime payment. Okay? So, <laughs> quick advertising lang. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yun lang. Short lang siya kasi we're focused on skill. So, how to just uh, find your sweet spot or your profitable skill to offer na win-win din uh, both sa'yo and sa clients. Okay? So, it's Q&A time. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, sa lahat nandito ngayon. And uh, any questions or you'd like to share, please just write down the comments and I will try to run through um, ngayon uh, after I drink my water. <laughs> All right. So, sige. I'm going to run through Sandalia, no? I'm going to check my uh, phone. Titignan ko kami mga questions kayo. So, if may mga question kayo, just write it down below, guys. Um, and I'll try to answer. And you mga nakapag-enroll sa Super Freelancer Scores, like Kilo and everything, um, itong problem mo, Kilo, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to message you uh, with this one because I think I know how to help you with this. I think may alam akong uh, paano siya i-solve itong problema mo. Okay? <laughs> so, kasi ang problema ni Kilo is uh, stock siya sa, still stock pa daw siya. Um, so, I'm gonna end na may, ano, no? I'm gonna end na may screen mo na. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So yeah, uh, going back to Kilo, um, yes, Kilo, kasi yung sabi mo stock siya sa um, iba yung specifics ng job descriptions na based sa mga job postings. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, that's right. That could be a problem din, Kilo, no? lalo na pag, ano, pag uh, medyo complicated or technical yung, ano mo, yung skill mo. But I think I have, uh, I have something sa'yo, um, which uh, si Kilo kasi is, he is enrolled sa ating Super Freelancers course. So um, he has like um, meron siyang consultation don free consultation. So Kilo, I'm gonna reach out to you then tutulungan kita dito because that's included sa, ano mo, sa uh, enrollment mo sa course. Okay? So um, I'm gonna try to help you out. So I'm gonna run through lang if you have other questions. All right, so Jules. So Jules is um kanyang niche is content writing in food and cafe. Hmm. Yeah. So content writing Jules like uh, for example you want blog posting ano parang ganun you mean blog posting. So what I suggest Jules is you go to Cora or you go to um mga Facebook groups. Pumunta ka na sa, sa mga groups ng small business owners ganun. Tapos uh, sumali ka doon and mag social listening ka ano yung mga problema nila that you can craft as an offer. Pagkatapos, pumunta ka sa freelance marketplaces, i-check mo yung validity ng offer mo. Okay? Then yung content writing, gagawin mo siya ng gagawin mo siya ng parang magandang packaging eh, magandang offer, ganun, uh, sa food and cafes. 
Ganun. So, yan. Just do the research. Maka- magkakaroon ka talaga ng ano, um, answer and validation. Uh, uh, uh. So, sabi ni Elaine, why is it important to sub-niche? Di ba siya parang sobrang limited? Uh, yeah. Ganito. Ito na sinabi ko kanina, um, Elaine, when when you have a prior experience, okay yung mag-niche down ka. Okay? Pag, pag wala kang ano, pag nagsistart ka pa lang, don't niche down too early. Okay? Bigyan mo yourself mo allow yourself to have some time to experiment like three to five niches na experiment ka doon. Okay? So, um, importante siya magsasub niche pag yun nga, alam mo na talaga uh, yung gagawin mo. May skill ka na talaga doon pagkatapos na may experience ka na. So, like in my case, nakasub niche na ako um, sa end-to-end digital marketing plan and super, <laughs> ang sub niche ka guys is um, adult, uh, adult ano, niches. Okay? And, and gambling. So, ayun, nakapag-sub-niche na talaga ako doon. Alright? So, follow-up sa sub-niche question. How to gauge sub-niche is already enough? Hmm. Um, yun nga. Kilo, wabalik tayo sa test and never guess. If naka-enroll ka doon sa uh, kurso natin, Kilo, di ba mayroon tayo doon how to find that one thing? Um, yung one thing na episode doon. I think it's in super uh, step 5 ng Super Freelancers course natin. So, doon mo na siya mag eh. Okay? Kung swak na sa'yo yung sub-niche na yun. Okay? Doon mo na siya mag uh, Meron tayong suggestion doon na parang if you uh, if you already achieve this certain um, as, uh, parang clients then certain uh, amount or whatsoever. So, doon mo na siya mag if enough na yung sub-niche mo. Um, hindi mo siya mag basta-basta lang. You really have to test it. So, subukan mo talaga muna. You have to, uh, um, alam mo yun, magda-dive ka talaga sa waters. You have to go there and try. Okay? Kailangan mo talaga mag-try kilo. So, if I were you, kilo, wag ka masyado mag-obsess into sobrang sub-niching. Um, dun ka lang muna sa saktong niche lang. Subukan mo dun. Kasi dun mo minsan na-find out na eh, while you're doing it. Dun mo na-find out talaga yung pinaka pinaka sub niche mo saan ka talaga specialized. Like for me, na find out ko na uh, specialized pala ako sa adult and sports trading kasi bakit? Um, na find out ko ano yung magwo-work na marketing strategy doon sa mga ito kasi yung adult and and sports trading napakahirap niya i-market. Okay? So na find out ko paano. Okay? Doon ko na rin na find out nung sinubukan ko yung iba-ibang niche na yun. All right? So um, I think in my case nag-try ako ng lima. Nag-try ako ng limang niche hanggang sa nakapag, ano ako, nakapag-narrow down ako. Okay? So, you really, re- really have to test. Okay? So, do your social listening, do your research, um, tapos gather your data. And ang pinaka-importante dito, pag nagsisaba ka na, nagsimula ka na talaga, kasi dun mo talaga siya mag-gage. Alright? So, yeah. Um, ano pa bang questions niya? Yeah, I think, you know, so I just want to say uh, thanks lang sa mga nag webinar. Um, yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, I will review them again. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Kilo. And don't worry, Kilo, because uh, we're going to have another private webinar dun sa uh, course, sa loob. So that's why I told you that I'm going to reach out to you. Um, yeah. So guys, if you're a member of the Super Freelancers course, meron kaming mga consultation din doon once you enrolled sa kurso. So if I were you, enrolled ka na ngayon. All right? So yeah, um, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, Kilo. Ano? Yeah, Cora. Cora is good, Kilo, kasi bakit? Yung Cora is question-based kasi siya. Question-based talaga siya. So type ka lang ng certain topic or keywords, then ang dami na kasing ano, ang dami na, uh, ano ba tawag nito? Ang dami na mga ideas doon eh. Uh, ang dami mga questions doon. Tapos makikita mo kaagad yung mga problems nila or issues nila. So you can validate then. Okay, so social listening, guys, is very important kung wala kayong budget. But there are apps, actually, or softwares that could give you a really, really good data. But ito, importante lang kasi to if you're a business owner na kailangan mo yung data na yun. Diba? But if you're a service-based freelancer, pwede ka talaga mag-start sa so- uh, social listening. And then yung mga software um, uh, data gathering kasi na tools, medyo mahal siya eh. I think it's around like 200, 500 per month sila. So I suggest social listening. And searches. And kung nandito kayo sa Facebook, pumunta kayo sa mga Facebook groups ng mga target market na gusto nyo. For example, Cafes Jewels or um, ano ba yung kay Kilo? 
mga uh, photography collectors or jewelries, ganun, pumunta kayo naman sa mga Facebook group nila. Sumali ka doon. Pagkatapos, sumali ka, then mag-spend ka lang ng a week doon, kumuha ka na ng data. Ano yung mga problema nila doon? Pagkatapos, umalis ka na kasi syempre magiging info overload ka na. But if gusto mo na mag-stay doon, mag-stay ka lang naman. So, ang importante nila, nakakuha ka lang ng data. Okay? Nakita mo yung... Pum- pu- ang, hindi, hindi ka pupunta sa grupo ng mga freelancers, ha? pupunta ka sa grupo ng mga target market mo. Okay? Then, kukunin mo yung data. Ano pong problema nila sa buhay? <laughs> Or yung problema nila sa negosyo nila? Okay? Or ano yung hinahanap nila ng skills na pwede mo ibigay? Alright? So, ganun. So, guys, um, yeah. I'll, ju- I'll stay here for like uh, two minutes more or five minutes if may mga questions pa kayo. Um, just or, um, ano, write them down below. And I will send you the link. I will um, paste here the link ng Super Financers course natin if you want to um, enroll pa. So let me grab that one. So I hope you learned um, a, a thing or two sa ano. Uh, ba, 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 sa ano bin? A thing or two dito ngayon. As I've said, guys, uh, this is a bit of this is a bit of the uh, uh, data gathering din na ano eh. Na, um, na step kasi bakit ganito ang problema ng mga freelancers na pansin ko eh nakikinig sila sa mga mga webinars and everything okay motivated na sila na gawin ngayon pero nung natapos na yung webinar na yun ano nga ba yung gagawin ko? diba? Hindi, hindi actionable okay hindi nila alam na yung gagawin nila so kaya dito sa article and design guys or sa super freelancers group natin what we're trying to do here is we're trying to really create an actionable steps talaga. Kaya napapansin nyo, di ba, kilo, jewels, etc. Napapansin nyo, step by step talaga yung tinutubo namin. Because it has to be actionable. Medyo may work lang siya kasi um, a, a great things take time talaga, guys. Alright? You have to do the work. So, yeah. Uh, you have to test and do your research and etc. So, ilalagay ko yung link ng Super Finance Course if you're excited. I'm very excited if you wanted to enroll and use the coupon code uh, New Year 2021. Okay? And yeah, we have another question here is how can we get the free slides for homework po? Yeah. Um, um, hi, Mel. Yeah, my isang Mel din dito eh. See <laughs> uh, si Mel pen the floor. So, yeah, Mel, after nitong, ano, after nitong uh, webinar, i- uh, ano ko, i- um, ipapaste ko dito sa inyong link na pwede nyo i- ano, i-upload yung slides nito para masubukan nyo. Alright? Tapos kung ano, um, yeah, yeah ipipaste ka dito right after this webinar. Okay? Uh, kung saan nyo makukuha yung slides para ano, para masubukan nyo siya. Ayun. So ano pa ba? Sabi ni Jen, Abenza, I love this episode. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Yeah. Oo. Yeah, uh, to be honest, um, I like this episode. <laughs> Talagang nagbuhat ng bangko, no? I mean, What I like about this episode or this webinar is um, ma- mabilis, madali lang kasi siya actually ga- gawin eh. Um, hindi ko nga maintindihan ba't natin pinapahirapan yung buhay natin. Diba? Hindi ko t- yun lang talaga hindi ko maintindihan sa mga freelancers. Bakit pinapahirapan natin yung buhay natin? We're making things complicated. What, when, ang kailangan lang talaga natin gawin is just start. Okay? Just start with something. Okay? Just start. Uh, don't make it complicated kasi bakit? Perfect is the enemy of done. You're going to um, um, polish it along the way. Okay? Ang importante dito, progress. Progress over perfection. Okay? Progress ang hinahabol natin dito, hindi perfection. Kasi sa susunod, yung perfection, ma-achieve mo na yan siya eh. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, thanks, Jen. Sabi ni Jules, yeah, step by step. Knowledge is more valuable when used in practice. Totoo. Um, kasi, yun nga, motivated ka, wala ka namang commitment and execution, then nada. Wala mangyayari sa'yo. Okay? So, motivation is important, but commitment is important and execution is the key. Okay? So, lahat, kaya lahat ng programs natin dito, lahat ng courses natin, lahat ng ating mga webinars is um, ginawa na talaga natin siyang step-by-step process. Okay? Para magawa nyo siya kagad. And there's a homework, there's an actionable steps that you can do para ma-apply mo siya kagad. Alright? So, yun. Okay, thank you then, Mel. So, yeah, I- I'm gonna put the link, Mel. Ayan. So yeah, guys, uh, one minute na lang and I will say bye-bye na. Um, 